We are now seven months away from Iowa's caucus, and more candidates are making appearances in Siouxland in hopes of securing local support. KCAU 9's Tasia Nevels visited the most recent town hall meeting to hear how voters feel about their important role in presidential elections. Iowa has been the first state to vote in presidential primaries dating back to 1972. And with more than a thousand precincts scattered all over Iowa, presidential candidates will be leaving their impressions throughout Siouxland in hopes of becoming your next president. To act, and so here's what I'm prepared to do. When elected with your help. <laughs> As the 2020 election year gets closer, Democratic hopefuls are making their way across the state. We're still just seeing people for the first time, several uh, folks that have come for uh, maybe a second time even, so it's still pretty early on in, in the whole caucus. As the fourth largest city in Iowa, Sioux City gets plenty of presidential visitors, but people in Sulin wish even more candidates would make a campaign stop in their region. I, I love the fact that they're coming out to western Iowa. It's overlooked. You get so much down in Des Moines, Cedar Rapids, and in eastern Iowa. Uh, it's very important for me to see all these candidates here. I'm really excited that there are visiting here because I I haven't um, ever gotten this involved before, but it's really bringing a lot of people out. Um, they're speaking my language. I'm like waiting for someone to speak my, speak my language, and I, I love so many of these candidates. Voters in Iowa take their role as the nation's first primary very seriously, many taking the time to meet all of the candidates face to face asking tough questions until they can decide which candidate best aligns with their needs and beliefs. Me, uh, it's talking about what we can do in agriculture because we're the, in the fourth district here is the second most agriculture producing district in America and, and our farmers are struggling to make a dime. We got to take back the White House. Today and the last thing she spoke on um, rung really strong with me about the children down on the border and how our government is handling this situation is very heart-wrenching. The holiday week brought many candidates to Siouxland this week. You can expect even more will be stopping by the region over the next seven months ahead of the caucuses. Tasia Nevels, KCAU 9 News.